What Glastonbury Festival is for music, the Royal International Air Tattoo here at Fairport definitely is for aviation. It's one of the biggest air shows in the world. And year after year after year, there's one big star of the show. The solo display of the Royal Air Force Typhoon display team. For the fighter show, the Typhoon display team opened up its gates to take a look behind the scenes. So before we are watching some stunning display here at Riyadh, we go over to Coningsby, home of the 29th Squadron and permanent base camp of the Royal Air Force Typhoon display team. So join me now. This is the fighter show with Flo. So guys, here we are now in Coningsby, together with a 2024 display pilot of the Royal Air Force, Flight Lieutenant David Turnbull, call sign Turbo. Hi Turbo, how are Hey you? Flay, great to meet you. Turbo, the moment you were announced as display pilot for that season, how did that feel for you? Yeah, it's a, it's a real privilege to be selected as a 2024 display pilot. We've got so many great display pilots in the past in the UK and obviously overseas as well. So to be part of that small group, it just feels really special. And you now, for this year, the face to the outside world from, for, for the Royal Air Force. Um, people want autographs, they take pictures. You're all over social media. What do you do to stay humble? It's not hard to stay humble. I've got the rest of the office and the rest of the instructor pilots here. Anytime that I'm on social media, like taking the mick out of me, obviously. Uh, so yeah, that keeps me humble, definitely. When you are at the air shows and there are thousands of people standing along the runway, cheering, waving, how much of that vibe do you get in the cockpit? Yeah, so you, you get an idea of the energy at an air show before you go flying and you kind of take it with you airborne. So you know there's a crowd, the anticipation. Uh, but actually airborne, you can't, you can't hear any of it. You just get a feeling of it. And at that speed, you, you take into account the rough crowd line. And it just feels really special knowing that they're all there to watch the awesome typhoon when it's flying. And you know the kind of impact the noise is having on that crowd. Absolutely, sound of freedom. Um, Talking about routines, I mean, when you, how do you prepare for a display? What, what's your routines? Because I can imagine uh, flying the Typhoon in the display is a bit like riding a, a live rocket for 10 minutes. What, what's, your, what's your routine there? Yeah, so it's obviously intense and I want to do almost the same thing every time. So about an hour before or exactly an hour before, I'll say I'm in my bubble. So that means I'll stop listening to the outside world and just think about my display, what the wind's going to do, what the crowd line is, uh, the conditions of the day. Uh, and then nothing changes from there. When I get into the cockpit, it's like autopilot. I've done this loads before, I'm doing it again. Now, we also need to talk about the livery of your plane. Uh, nickname is Moggy, I understand. Um, the last years it was blackjack being displayed at the, at the air shows. Now you get a different livery. What's special about it? Yeah, so we had blackjack for the last three years. That was flying the flag. Uh, showing the UK both here and overseas. We've now got Moggy to commemorate uh, the D-Day 80th anniversary, so the sacrifices uh, many people made 80 years ago. Um, and that's just really special in itself. It's a great message and it gets people thinking about the history as well. Sounds great, Turbo, thanks. Now I think we ask enough questions. It's time yep. for getting airborne, awesome. for flying your display. As everybody who is part of the fight show, you get the official fight show patch. That's yours. Cheers, Flay. Thank you very Appreciate much. Appreciate it. I've got one for you as well. Oh, wow. That's the official Typhoon display. Yeah, nice. Great, guys. This is the fight show with Flo. And now, let's get back to React. So guys, there are people that fly the aircraft, people that maintain the aircraft, and then there's a third group in the Royal Air Force Typhoon display team that talks about the aircraft. The PR, the public relations team. And one of the guys is now standing next to me. Hi Higgy, how are you doing? I'm very good, Flo, thank you very much. Now Higgy, public relations, what's your main task? Uh, engaging with the public and try and inspire the next generation to join us. You got a trailer here at Riyadh, and I think you're driving it to every air show uh, around, around the planet almost. Who is visiting you here? Uh, we've got everybody from three-year-olds up to right up to 90-year-olds, people who just want to join. We've got families, just anyone who's interested. 
all the typhoon lovers. Speaking about typhoon, when you see Turbo performing the display, what do you feel? So I love watching him display. It's fast, it's loud. I've done it for a long time now, so I just love coming away. So it's your, it's your fourth year, right? Fourth year, yes. And what are the main questions people are asking when they come in here? Uh, how fast it is, how loud it is, and how they become the next Typhoon Display Pilot. Now, that's, I guess, the most important question. Now, you've been with the display team now for four years. What's been your greatest experience? Uh, going across to Canada this year to celebrate their centenary anniversary of their Royal Air Force. Sounds to be a cool experience. Higgy, thank you very much for talking to us. This is the official fighter shoot patch you are getting now. Thank you. Thank very you. Much. Cheers. Guys, and if you want to see the display team on social media, just visit their channel. This is the Fighter Show with Flo. What's your favorite aircraft? Your fighter typhoon! Woo! What's your favorite aircraft? Typhoon! Guys, there is one team working in the display team that makes Muggy fit for flying, and that's the engineers. And one is here, standing next to me. Hi, Ben, how are you doing? Oh, I'm good, thank you. Ben, what is the difference between being uh, an engineer in the display team compared to being an engineer in a normal squadron? So the difference being an engineer on display team for us is uh, our limited resources and tools that we can take with us. So working around the country and even overseas on displays, we can't take our whole squadron with us. That would uh, be a logistical <laughs> headache for everyone. Imagine. But would you say that's your main challenge then? I'd, yeah, I would say that's our main challenge on the display team, yeah. How many engineers are working in the display team? So we have a team of five engineers working directly on the jet and we have three teams that cycle through doing different displays. So I said Team Phantom, Team Lightning and Team Tornado. Well that, that's interesting names, how come? So uh, we have previous jets of those kinds on 29 Squadron and display themselves. So as a kind of reminiscence? Yeah, yeah as a homage to that, yeah. Ben, how is a routine day looking for you as an engineer uh, at an air show? So I'll go back to my routine job on 29 Squadron, maintaining and fixing typhoons as an engineer. But do you like being at the display team, I guess? Yes, uh, it's yeah, quite an honour to be on display team. I applied for a few years and uh, finally got on it, so I'm quite happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Congratulations, Ben. Here is your official fighter ship patch. Thank you. And guys, this is the fighter show. There's a So guys, this is how it looks after a long air show day. A lot of empty chairs, no chat noise anymore, people walking home. What we definitely learned today is that it takes more than just a great pilot and a great plane to perform a stunning display. It's the team that leads to success. So take care, see you soon, and may the Air Force be inside. Seeing colors that I've never seen.